Do you love your new cubbies? Yes! Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another vlog. We got Zion back there in the car seat. I actually just pulled up to Teacher Heaven, which is a store with all types of educational fun supplies because today's agenda is going to be setting up basically a little homeschool station in my house for Zaya. It's cold. Um, yeah, so Zaya does go to school as you guys know, but I recently lowered her schedule down just to every other day at school. And so every other other day, she's gonna be home with me just because I wanted to spend more time with her and have that one-on-one -on -one time. Ooh, look at this. This is literally teacher heaven. Never been in here before. They got this whole section of stickers over here. It's actually much bigger than I thought it would be in here. Stickers? The main idea is for me to spend some time with her at home and do more homeschooling, educational activities with her myself so i want to get some supplies and set up like a little station for it in the house and just organize her toys as well and just like get everything together so that we can do more activities at home so we're just gonna kind of look around in here and see what catches or i do have like a basic idea of what i want to get and how i want the setup to be but i'm also just kind of browsing around to see what interests me they have all these little bins you found the puppets now we're not really looking for toys. Is that Hello, educational? Zaya. Hello, Zaya. What's your name? I just said it was Zaya. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Zaya. What's your name? <laughs> you like it? Grammy's you not like a very good one? puppeteer. <laughs> you like this one? This yeah, guy is scary. Like I don't like puppies. Look at this. Okay. What about? It reminds oh, me of I the No one. Diggity music one. video. <laughs> scary, Zaya. I don't like that. You don't say it's scary. It's not scary. It's scary to me. <laughs> okay, let's look at okay, this really. real stuff we need. Okay, really. Okay, we need, we're gonna get you a little easel, I think. We don't need more toys. We need the learning materials. Toys. No. Toys. No. Toys. No. This is the numbers and counting stuff. So since your easel is gonna be magnetic, we can get magnetic numbers to go on the easel. I wish they had cuter colors than green and yellow, but. Want that one, the box. That the frog. That Here, you can hold it for now. Just hold it. You already have flashcards like that, I think. Where's Grammy? She's coming. Work on your counting and maybe even start doing some simple math. So you really need um, li the little counting pieces. Like, oh, I guess these are the counters I was talking about. Like to help physically learn mm -hmm. how to count and like do addition and subtraction. Mm -hmm but they have like the little cubes or they have little chips, bingo chips, bigger ones. I don't wanna get anything too small that's just gonna get lost. Oh, they have little shapes. Oh my gosh, I remember, wait. I'm having a vague memory of some of this stuff from my childhood, huh? You want the bears? Animal counters, it has different animals in here. But I feel like you're just gonna think this is toys. But I don't want to get distracted with just trying to play with yeah. them while we're trying to learn. I feel like it needs to be just like a simple thing like this that's just for counting. Cause those are just gonna get mixed up with all her little what toys. What's Grammy? She's around here somewhere. Magic noodles. They have everything in here. All the poster board and paper. All the noodles. All the noodles. All types of construction paper. Oh, Spanish sight words. The alphabet, colors and shapes. There's an activity you can do with the chalkboard. You can write numbers on there and then have them trace to learn the, you know, the way the shapes of the letters go or the numbers go with a paintbrush dipped in water. You learn how to conjugate yet, Zaya? <laughs> Have you learned how to conjugate Spanish verbs? Okay. Let's turn this way. What are we finding so far? We got some good stuff. We got oh, the magnetic yes. stuff. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. And these are the wipe off you can use with those wipe off markers. Yeah. The cards themselves. Are you so excited? 
This is good. And maybe so we'll get fun. some stickers. Well, there, yeah, there's tons of right up in the front mm -hmm. of the whole All right, well, y'all have fun. Holler if you need Thank it. We've got girls everywhere. <laughs> Mommy. Ages three plus Spanish flash cards. Oh, these are good because they're actually connected on a little ring so you don't lose them. Where's Grammy? Let's go find Grammy. Where's Grammy? Grammy! <laughs> Grammy! Grammy! She's right there. There she is. Class rules. Do we need a rule sheet, Zaya? Zaya already knows her shapes and colors perfectly. Did you find some stickers that you like? Mm -hmm. I wanted owls. Owls? Oh my gosh, you guys remember these base tin sets? I'm seeing so many things that I remember from like elementary school. All these things that like I used to wish I could take home with me. <laughs> these things, oh my God, these blue things. Do y'all remember these? All these shapes and stuff. I used to wish I could like have this stuff at home for whatever reason. I'm definitely gonna have to do a lot of research online in terms of different types of activities and different types of like curriculum that we can do at home. But for now, I'm just kind of getting like a base idea and like a few supplies that I know we can use. And then I'll probably, you know, like I said, do more research and get more stuff to go with specific activities. But I know we definitely are going to get the easel with the magnetic stuff that can go on the easel, counting stuff, alphabet stuff. Um, I want her to start doing basic like reading and math because she already knows all the basic, like she knows her alphabet, she knows her colors, she knows her shapes, she knows a lot of basic Spanish words, she knows like most like every like pre-K type stuff so I'm kind of trying to level her up to kindergarten type stuff. Did you find some more posters? I want a, a simple um, alphabet one. So I got one for numbers and one for colors. Mommy, mommy. What? A pencil. It's you a found pencil, a pencil? It's a pencil grip. You don't need you that. The pencil. <laughs> but, um, and although she already knows her colors, this will be good to help her learn to recognize the colors, sight words. What are we getting? I don't know. I'm not getting something. Huh? We're getting something. We're getting something. Mm -hmm. You're getting all your learning supplies. Mm -hmm. You got the basket? Oh. Alright, so we are now at Target. Ooh, my hair looks crazy. Um, we're gonna get a few more things that we did not get at the teacher store. Um, we definitely need dry erase markers or actually dry erase crayons I heard might be better for her whiteboard and then maybe a couple of other like educational activity puzzles books whatever is here the main thing is a cubby shelf system hopefully we can get one of those here with the little um, boxes that go inside to organize not only her homeschool stuff, but her toys as well. Cause right now she just has that one big old toy box. What? This was one of my favorite books that they made it in a tiny version. Are you my mother? <laughs> oh my goodness. The little bird, baby bird got separated from no, her. That one's well, Zaya's like, well. I mean, Zaya does have a good amount of books like this. Like she has corduroy. Oh, here's a llama llama book, Zaya. She has Goodnight Moon. She has this bear book over here. Mama, look! Huh? Huh? Mama, Mama's book! The Llama Llama book? She likes this Llama Llama um, show, slash book, slash toys, slash everything. The PJ Masks? But we're not here to look at toys. We're here to look at learning. Fancy, fancy! Who? Fancy, fancy! How do you know about Fancy Nancy? Who's Fancy Nancy? I've never heard of her. I was trying to look at like some educational letters and numbers books. This is more of what I was looking for with these um, these wipe books where you can like trace it. Oh, those are good. 
and then you wipe it off. This is for like ages three to five, just to get their fine motor skills going, to learn how to trace things. Cause they have like this stuff on this side is a little bit bigger, a little bit sturdier, and it goes with these bins. They're a little bit bigger, they're like 13 inch. These ones are the thinner, cheaper ones, and they go with these bins that are smaller. So these are nicer, honestly, and in terms of like keeping it for the new house, they have much nicer bins that go with them too. It's on sale for 70, it used to be 80. Like I could just get neutral colored bins since it's gonna be my living room, which these are on sale as well. But they also have like the pink ones. These are the ones that she has in her room right now. Pink with gold polka dots. But since this is gonna be in my living room, I honestly would probably just get a neutral color instead of these. be the actual furniture thing in the basket and then I'm getting like a variety of different types of bins to go in it like these two smaller ones can go next to each other in one cubby storage that one what is it that one, that one. a piñata you don't need a piñata We now have two baskets full of stuff. All right, so we just got done at Target. My mom actually just ran back in the store to get something for herself that she forgot. But Zaya's back here, she's getting very grumpy. It's getting close to nap time. So we're gonna go home, eat lunch, have Zaya take a nap. And hopefully while Zaya is napping, my mom can help me um, actually set up all the stuff. We have to build a little cubby shelf and organize everything and set up everything. Um, so we're gonna try and do that today as well. And then hopefully I can show you guys kind of the finished product. <laughs> Okay, so the current situation is my house is a mess, but we are in the middle of cleaning, organizing, sorting. We're kind of categorizing all of Zaya's things. We've got large stuffed animals living on the couch for now. My mom is putting Barbies together. I already put small animal figurines in one box. I put um, doll food and kitchen supplies in another box doll clothes, her um, actual play food for her full size, well not full size, but the big kitchen. Blocks need a box. I still need to open two more of these cubes. She does play with them, but not, the main reason why I think she doesn't play with them is because she can't reach them because they're at the bottom of that toy box. But if I take them out for her, then she'll play with them. Speaking of, you gotta put a shirt on. We're cleaning up your toys. And we set up your new cubby shelf. The whole reason why I got big boxes and little boxes is like, you know, because for little stuff, yeah. you want a little box. And I think it's good, like, she can reach it. 
and see what goes in there. We can put labels. Oh, Grammy can make some cricket labels. Like that. And then these are just like bookshelves or whatever right. you want to put right here. All this will have in it, once, once we finish sorting it out, are big toys like this, 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 well, yeah, this, I guess so. and her big animals. I mean her big stuffed animals. She stopped by and got this little system of buckets from Ikea where you can hang, like you put this pole on the wall, you hang the buckets. So it's like a little organizational system that I am planning on putting above this cubby shelf to hold her like crayons, markers, art supplies, stuff that I don't want her to be able to reach on her own because next thing I know, she will have grabbed a marker and drawn all over the wall or something. So I do not want her to have full freedom access to markers, crayons, paints, Play-Doh, anything like that. That needs to be put up where she cannot reach it so that when she's playing, I don't even have to worry about it and I can be in control of when we do that stuff. So my box is cleared out. I even vacuumed it. Now we have a box of blocks, a box of Barbies. Dress up other like big toys, I guess like this stuff could go in there. I think those, I think I don't even want those on there, those red things. It's just like to hold the pins and stuff, but I don't want to put them right there. And it's just an eyesore, honestly. Your lip hurts. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with it? Is it chapped? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You need some chapstick? Okay. Look at your easel. It has numbers and letters on it. How much was that? I don't know, but your bill, your bill was high. It was like $100 or something, and I can't get one for $19.99. This looks about, is worth about $20. I mean, oh well. What's done is done. It's the perfect height for you, Zaya. Oh. No, we don't need those. Don't want those on there. <laughs> Leave me alone. What the heck? Because the point is, I keep the markers and stuff up here where she can't reach. There you go. That's probably a better plan. Why are you hammering the screws in? Because it, because I can. Yeah, but isn't it just going to fall out? Not necessarily. Are you, did you get a stud? Because, no, I don't need to get a stud because it's just hanging. It's, it's a tension. It's not necessarily supposed to be screwed into studs. This isn't something with a whole lot of weight on it. Mm. Um, you don't know what you're talking about. You mean the pop tip? Those are probably little, that tip. a little stale, maybe. Isn't it good? I'm talking about potato. When you say potato, potato. Potato. Is that good? I got you. It's good. She broke her mouth. She broke her mouth. How do you know it? I don't think you took into consideration the spacing of this to where it actually is spaced out. Did you? Did she jump? No, I put it. I, um, she jumped. Did you just put these wherever? Why? All right, so the current problem is. Told you don't be memorializing. Miss Bob the Builder. We didn't. She well, she did it. I'm not taking responsibility. Didn't space out the thing right, so it doesn't give us enough space to actually hang all the buckets on there. So we need to move these things to give us more space along the pole. Now we gotta take the whole thing off and redo it. You said it was level. When I had it there, you put your thing on there and you go, yeah, it's level. But now you're saying this is I don't know, cause now it's like you the new zero, thing zero. is way down here. But that's true, because y'all were saying it looked crazy. Okay, and well anyway, we needed to redo it apparently anyway, cause that was not level the first time. Okay, so round three. <laughs> How many monkeys does it take to hang a pole on a wall? Um, as you can see, we have had a few mishaps with trying to get the things in the right spot. I think we finally got it this time, but we're definitely gonna have to um, patch up these holes. You got your blankie. You're just maxing and relaxing. 
while we set up your stuff. Okay, now let's see. Did we get it this time? Even if we didn't, oh well, because I'm not doing it again. But it looks straight. It looks very straight now. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> we just have a few extraneous holes. We'll patch those up. Thank you, Grammy. She sliced her hand open <laughs> and everything. Oh, she cut herself earlier when she was opening the package. Uh -huh. Dry erase markers. Okay, so it is the next morning and I wanted to kind of show you the final product of our new little setup in here. Please keep in mind that I'm just kind of working with the space that I have, so it's nothing fancy, obviously. Um, I am hoping to do kind of like a much better set up in the new house because Zaya is gonna have a whole big playroom upstairs in the house that's just gonna be dedicated to her stuff and her toys and her educational stuff. So I definitely wanna do something way cuter and way nicer in there, but this is just kind of like temporary um, while we are still in this townhome for the next approximately five to six months. So I mean, it's nothing special. You guys have mostly already seen it, but. So first of all, if you guys have not seen my actual town home tour video, I will link that down below just in case you guys wanna kinda get a whole feel for the whole entire home and the rest of my furniture. But over here is my office. This little nook right here is my entire office where I edit all my videos and over here was just a blank wall. So this is where, of course, you saw that we added the cubby shelf from Target and all the various bins from Target as well. I went with just a neutral gray color just so it wouldn't be too like clashing with everything else in my living room. And this is working really well to organize her toys because we can actually categorize things into different bins. We have the food stuff for her play kitchen. We have her little small figurines. We have her dollhouse stuff her doll clothes, um, a box for dress up stuff, a box for Barbies, and a box for her blocks. So I feel like this is going to help keep everything nice and clean and help her actually put away her toys properly and also just learn how to categorize things. I feel like that is an educational lesson as well. So um, I want her to really be independent with that. That's why it's like down on her level so she can clean up her own stuff and keep it organized and know how to categorize. And then on the top shelf is more so her educational stuff. So this is the stuff that we bought at the teacher store. We have her magnetic alphabet letters, her counting cubes for learning how to count and how to do easy math. Um, I bought a pair of foam dice just for more like counting math stuff. She has her magnetic numbers. These are just some stickers that she wanted. And then these are some Spanish flashcards just to learn some simple Spanish words or just kind of reinforce what she's learning at school because she does go to a Spanish immersion school. And then over here, I've just placed some of her more educational type books. She has a lot more books in her bedroom, but those are more like um, bedtime story type books. And these are more like educational books. So above that, you guys saw the struggle with trying to hang this little bucket system from Ikea. So we definitely have to go back and patch up these extra holes and paint over that. But for now, we finally got it up and this is just to hold her markers. And these are chalk markers. These are the whiteboard markers. And these are her crayons. And we have the expo markers and the chalkboard markers because we have her new easel over here. So one side is a magnetic whiteboard. So obviously we can use the markers on here, but we can also use all of her little magnetic numbers and letters and shapes that she has. And on the other side of the easel, so if I turn it around, there is actually a chalkboard and it came with this little alphabetical border going around it already. And then these are just some posters that we got from the teacher store for colors and counting and we got them laminated so that we can use the dry erase markers to do little activities on it and be able to erase it and reuse it. So I just pinned these on here with these little chip clip things <laughs> just to kind of keep it like that because I don't wanna actually put them on the wall or anything. And this easel is the perfect height for her to stand up at and I think she will be able to use it for at least 
two more years as well so i really like this i believe it was kind of overpriced because we got it from the teacher store and i feel like you can get it for much cheaper at ikea or just ordering it online from amazon so i'll try to find a better link for you guys and link it down below as well as linking this shelf down below and the bins and i will try to link this down below as well i'm pretty happy with how it came out i think it fits pretty nicely in the little space that i have to work with so over here on the other side of the house it really hasn't changed much it's pretty much the same stuff from how you guys always see it in my vlogs and in my home tour we still have the kitchen we still have the toy box we still have the table and chairs the only thing that has really changed is all her new toys that she got for Christmas this big old dollhouse and this car and the Barbie camper is obviously kind of cluttering the space a little bit but I think we can deal with it for now. And the good news is that this toy box used to just hold all of her toys, big and small. It had blocks in there, it had small Barbie pieces in there, it had stuffed animals, it had everything, and it was all jumbled up. So when Zaya would try to just reach one small thing at the bottom of the toy box, she would dump out this entire toy box and literally toys would be covering the whole entire floor right here and it would make such a big mess. So that's why I wanted to actually organize things into separate bins so that if she just wants to play with her Peppa Pig things, she can just take out this one bin and make a much smaller mess at a time. So now in the actual toy box, it's just holding her larger toys. So her stuffed animals and her larger like plastic toys. And that's all that's in there. There's no more small pieces or anything else at the bottom of the toy box. It's much more organized and she's not gonna be able to make as much of a mess with all the stuff that's in there. But yeah, the whole idea behind this is that, like I said earlier in the video, Zaya does go to a Spanish immersion monastery Sorry, preschool not a daycare she is learning Spanish she is learning a lot of like actual curriculum and she does go Monday Wednesday and Friday so she's definitely getting her education Monday Wednesday and Friday and she's socializing with the other kids and she's playing outside and she's getting all of those good things on top of learning Spanish which is just like something extra but on Tuesday and Thursday I wanted to have her back home with me because I wanted to spend more time with her just generally speaking um, not just doing educational stuff but just also just spending quality time with her so I do just want to do like fun activities arts and crafts you know going out of the house to go to the museum and go to the zoo and go you know just do fun stuff but I also do want to be more proactive with me actually teaching her things because not to toot my own horn but i feel like when she wasn't going to school yet up until the point where she was about 18 months old because she started going to school at around 18 months from newborn to 18 months i obviously had her home with me full time and i was really focusing a lot on trying to teach her stuff so i had got flashcards i got educational apps on her ipad i got little educational toys and stuff and i started teaching her her numbers her letters her shapes her colors animals animal sounds all stuff like that and i feel like i taught her a lot of stuff in a very short amount of time and people were always commenting like like, wow she's very smart she's very advanced for her age you know how does she already know how to do that and I feel like that's just because like I really took time every single day one-on-one -on -one time with her to teach her that stuff and lately I just haven't been doing that as much because she's been going to school and I've been working a lot so I'm not really taking that one-on-one -on -one time myself to teach her those extra things and at the end of the day I just know that Zaya is very smart and she's very capable so I feel like I can honestly like accelerate her learning if she's going to school and also doing homeschooling stuff at home and I do feel like it's my responsibility as a parent to be involved with that as well so I really wanted to set something up and really get some materials and do some research and come up with some fun activities to where I can be more involved with her education at home and make it fun and make it a bonding time and make it quality time because I really do miss that and of course I will definitely do more videos in the future kind of actually showing you guys 
the activities that we do and the like curriculum and kind of like how I end up doing things. In terms of in the future, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask like, do I plan on homeschooling her? And I've got that question before. Like, do I plan on homeschooling her like for real in the future? Or is she gonna go to public school? Is she gonna go to private school? Is she gonna continue going to a Spanish school? Like, I honestly don't have all the answers right now. There's no way for me to have all those answers. She's only two years old. You know, I'm gonna have to just think about that and weigh my options, but I definitely think it's important to always have education at home as well um, and as a parent and be very involved with that and you know education is not just something that lives at school it's something that you can bring into your house and make it fun so like I said I do plan on setting up an even better type of homeschool educational thing in the new house in her playroom and continuing to make that part of like our daily routine so this is just the beginning this is just our little temporary setup while we're in the town home Zaya also seems to really like it she thought this whole little thing was really cool and she really likes her little easel we were drawing on it last night so I think she's really excited. Do you love your new cubbies? Yes! Letters. You have your letters? What's this, Mommy? Those are your counting cubes. Counting cubes? What else do you have there? Books. Look, I have books. Mm -hmm. Some Barbies and some blocks. Mm -hmm. All your blocks. Are you gonna keep it nice and clean now in here? Yeah! And put all your stuff away in the cubbies? Yeah! Yes! And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this little process with you guys. Comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!